Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a review of the DSA sheet by Apna College. So Apna College just released the new DSA sheet and we're going to see how it is. Also if you're watching my channel for the first time, my name is Ashish Kumar. I make videos on placement preparation, data structures and algorithm, computer programming and computer science in general. So if that's your content then do subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So we have a lot of DSA sheets at this point. Almost every SD YouTuber has their own DSA sheet. We also have Lubbubba's DSA sheet, we have Strivers SD sheet and now Apna College has also released their own DSA sheet. So when I first looked at the DSA sheet of Apna College, I was very much impressed and I was very much surprised by the quality of the sheet that they have made. I'm not the biggest fan of Apna College but I have to admit that the sheet that they have is actually really great. So coming to the first point, whether it's enough for placements or not. So they have around 375 problems in the sheet. So they have 375 problems, which is a lot. So coming to whether it's enough for placements or not, I can safely say that yes, it is enough for placements because 375 is a big number. It's a lot of problems, right? And it's enough to cover every aspect of DSA. So from DSA's perspective, yes, I would say it is enough for placements because it covers almost every problem. This is almost similar to Lovebubba's DSA sheet, which also I'm going to make a review on in the next couple of days. So it's pretty similar to Lovebubba's DSA sheet, which has 450 questions. So it has a little bit lesser than that, but the, a lot of questions are pretty similar. But where it stands out that it also has the companies in which the question was asked. And not only that, it also has one important thing which Lovebubba's sheet was missing. That was the time foundation. You don't know how much time to give a problem, right? So if you're following Lovebubba's sheet, you don't know how much time you should give a problem. But there, here they have put that the question is easy, then you should give it this time. If it's medium, then you should give it this much time. If it's hard, you should give it this much time. And they've also marked the difficulty of the problem, which is something that Lovebubba's sheet didn't have. And I don't think even Striver's sheet had this. So that is one great thing. They have ordered the problems in terms of difficulty. They have even given the companies that the like problem appeared in and I highly suggest this that you should always do company wise problems so you can understand what's the difficulty when you appear for that company and that's what they have done you can see that they have said this is Microsoft this is Amazon's this is Uber this is Amazon's and like that right and not only that they also have remarks hints in a way that you should use this you should do use that which again Lovebubba sheet didn't have. So these are pretty much the same problems which Lovebubba Sheet had in the arrays, if I remember correctly. And Lovebubba Sheet also had Geeks for Geeks problems. This also has Geeks for Geeks problems. But one more addition is that they have the difficulty. And they even tell you how much questions you should do each day. So Lovebubba Sheet didn't have all this, but here they're telling you that you should do around five questions a day. So if you ask me how much you should give time, then I don't think that you should follow it how many questions per day but how much time should you give it per day? And I highly suggest that, suggest that you should give DSA around two to three hours a day. If you're solving problems, try to give it two to three hours a day, at max four hours. If you give it any more time than that, then you might burn out. So if you ask me, then you should follow the sheet and try to give it around two to three hours a day if you're a beginner and four hours a day if you already have some knowledge of problem solving. So this is one sheet which you can definitely follow if you want to prepare DSA for placements. So first things first, you'll need to learn the theory of whatever like section that they have. So suppose they have graph, dynamic programming or trees, binary search tree, anything, then you can learn the theory of that. As soon as you learn the theory of that, just get to solving problems. And this is the time in which you should solve the problem. Suppose that you're not able to solve the problem in this time, then obviously you can go ahead and like look at the editorial. Okay, but don't spend more than this much time. And this is what I had to say for Lovebubba's DSA sheet, right? that you should not give a problem more than this much time and that they have written this here. So that's a great thing, you know, so you can remind yourself, ki, okay, I have 40 to 60 minutes to solve it. If I'm taking more than that, then I can move on to the next question. So follow the time constraint. So if you're following the sheet, then remember two things, give it two to three hours a day, be consistent, don't burn out, but be consistent. That's one very important thing that you have to be consistent. And one more thing is there that you should not give it more time than this. Okay, so follow the time constraint that they have. Follow the time constraint that they have. Okay, so you should do these things if you're following the sheet. It's pretty much enough for placements. It's a really great sheet. 
because like the problems are same in almost every DSA sheet, right? But what sets this apart is the extra things that they have. And one more thing that I'm going to tell you is that no DSA sheet is 100% enough. Any DSA sheet can only be 90% enough because it's only covering the DSA aspect. And there's one more thing in the interviews is the problem solving, which does not require DSA. So I'll just say problem solving without DSA. So you should also like do that because there's a lot of problems asked in the interviews which do not require any DSA. And those problems require analytical thinking, pattern based problems, observation, and you know, those kind of things. And to do that, you can go on any website like Code Forces or Code Chef. I suggest Code Forces, and then you can solve problems from there. So try to solve till I would say div 2 A, B, C. So solve a few problems from here also. It does not require any DSA, but these kind of problems do appear in the coding round of top companies, okay? So this sheet I would say is 90% complete. The rest 10% you can do by going to any coding platform like Code Forces or Code Shift and solve problems, the easy, easy medium problems which do not require any DSA. These are the problems again, which require pattern searching or observation skills or just simple basic mathematics. These problems are also very important for your placements. Apart from that, 90% of your problem solving, 90% of your DSA will be done by this sheet, okay? It is that great. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Apna College, but I have to admit they've done a really decent job on this sheet. So if you ask me, yes, it's enough for placements. Yes, you should follow this sheet. Just follow the time constraint that they have. Be consistent, spend two to three hours or at max four hours a day. And apart from that, once you're done with this, do solve problems that don't require DSA, which are like, I would say, these are the DSA problems and those problems are just simple problems, right? For that, you can go at Code Forces or Code Chef and solve Div 2 A, B, C problems. With that, your placement preparation will be complete. And afterwards, you can go for any company with enough confidence that you have the knowledge to crack it. And like I said, I'm also going to give a review of the Love Bubbles DSA sheet. I'm also going to give a review of Strivers D sheet. And then in one video, I'm going to give a final comparison of which is the best sheet. Okay. So be tuned in for that. Do subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. If there's any doubt that you have, leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.